Hello my friends and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Zombies video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to get all of the brand new schematics in Modern Warfare Zombies Season 3 Reloaded. We got three new schematics and uh, again this, could, this video is going to walk you guys through and explain how to get this done. First things first, if you guys do enjoy this one be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. We do a variety of gaming content here on the channel and uh, definitely helps out the channel. If you guys do drop a like, if you don't, that's completely fine as well. Just let me know uh, what, what I can do to improve the content in the future. Alright, first things first if you don't know how to unlock the brand new dark ether uh, area i have a guide up on my channel for that i'll link it down in the description below to the uh, top of the uh, description so you guys can get that done because that's what we're doing right here uh we have to do three different contracts in the dark ether zone the brand new dark ether zone but it has to be the uh, elder sigil variant so when you uh finally unlock the big portal uh to unlock the uh the new dark ether zone if you go to the front of the portal uh, on the left side you can uh you can deposit a normal um, uh, sigil in order to get into the dark ether zone. It's gonna get. It's gonna give you about 30 minutes to get all these contracts done, and the chances of you getting the new schematics are very minimal. You can probably get it done, I think, but it's 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 it's, it's very very rare. What you want to do is use an elder sigil. El elder sigils usually you'll, you'll get them from uh, doing. Uh, different things, different bound, uh, different contracts within the uh, Dark Ether itself. So basically, to get a normal sigil, you're gonna do uh, tier three contracts uh, in the. Um in the normal map, and uh, they can have a chance to drop normal sigils. Then you're going to go into the uh, into the portal. And again, if you don't know how to open up this dark ether portal, that's going to be a different guide that I said I'll link down in the description below that I've already done. Um, and uh, so once you go into the normal dark ether and you do the contracts normally, you're going to be able to potentially get a, a, a an elder sigil. And that's how you're going to get the elder sigil. And then you're going to deposit that on the back left, the back left of the uh, of the of the big giant portal that that we unlock for uh, for this new dark ether zone. So that's how that works. Once we're in here. We uh, we have 15 minutes in the in, in the uh, in the Elder Sigil variant uh, to do all three contracts. You can find the contracts very easily. There's a, a big yellow beam emanating from the top of them uh, into the sky. It's so very easy to find. You just go up to the obsolisk thing, whatever they're called. You hold the interact button. Uh, it's going to destroy the stone thing. There's going to be a, like a little thing resting on the pedestal. You're, it's basically how you activate the uh, the contract. You grab that thing on the pedestal and it begins the contract. The first one that you've seen earlier in this video, which we just absolutely melted through, was the uh, the bounty contract you have to destroy an abomination the second one is going to be this uh pnd or whatever um you know the out, the outlast excuse me the outlast uh, contract they're not fun but you know it is what it is a lot of zombies are going to be coming and then the third one's going to be uh, escort the acv or whatever which is probably the most tedious and difficult one to uh, to do so if you have any uh, other kind of th resources that you could bring into this i would highly highly recommend that um you know things like obviously you want to be triple packed for sure you want to bring a, a decent weapon i like using the dual dual uh wsp stingers uh, as you see on screen they're fun to use are they the best guns i'm not sure but i've ha been having fun with them um so use whatever gun try to get it to a, a gold tier if you if you you can uh, this one is actually only a purple uh, purple uh, uh, tier uh, weapon uh, because again I brought it in brought it in myself and um, I ended up um, uh, I ended up just uh, using um, a purple um, tool whatever it's called on it so that was that uh, the other thing is I, I would say I would highly recommend is when you go into a game whether you're solo or hopefully you have more people than that uh, for me it was just me and my son it was just two of us two out of a, of three of a, of a team uh, whatever it is you go into a game and then you just enter into the chat whether you want to talk in voice chat or you can type it out uh, hey does anyone want to do the elder sigil for the new uh, the new thing with us you know yada yada and people will either respond or not if no one responds you can just extra uh, and then go into a new game and, and just rinse and repeat until you get that you can have up to six people in a team So if people say yes, then you know when they come over to you you um, if you're using a controller You hold up in a d-pad and then you can click invite players nearby players to your uh, to your party and uh, that's gonna get them in um, To uh, to join your squad. So that's kind of how you're gonna get that done I would highly recommend trying to get as many people as possible. You can probably pull it off with five um, But obviously when you have six people that are, are really equipped, you know full perks is what you want you want you want full perks uh, I mean some perks don't really matter like tombstone doesn't really matter obviously uh, death perception not really a big deal uh, the big ones are obviously stamina up you know so you can run you know continuously and faster um, you know the speed cola for faster reloads jug right so obviously a little bit more health uh, quick revive to be able to revive teammates better I would use healing aura so number one you can heal yourself and if teammates go down and you pop your healing aura then it instantly revives them I would bring
bring sentry guns in here because you're going to want to drop some sentry guns on top of the ACV specifically, which is what you're going to see uh, happen in a second. I forgot to bring one. Thankfully, two other teammates uh, had one each, so we had two sentry guns kind of set up on top of the ACV, which was very, very helpful. What I did bring was golden plates that I had from the first Dark Aether zone. I had those schematics, um, and I also had the dog bone, so I brought in my level 3 dog. Do not pop those until you're in the Dark Aether, though, because uh, some of them sometimes will will they'll they'll not work like they're not gonna if you pop the dog before you go into the dark ether i think i'm pretty sure the dog is going to stay over uh in the uh in the normal zone so make sure you don't pop those till you get to the to, into the dark ether and you should be good to go um that said i think i think that covers like pr preparation like i said you know you want to you want to bring as many people as possible in here uh and in terms of how you get this thing uh these schematics well you've already pretty much seen on screen uh how i was getting some of them so you just complete these contracts in the dark ether um in the elder sigil variant and you have a very high likelihood uh from completing these contracts in the re reward rift uh to get these schematics um now i did not get all three schematics unfortunately one of my teammates got the um the sergeant barrett i think it was whatever whatever it's called uh and dropped it and i ended up picking it up so that was uh that, that was that was really cool um so i got i got that and basically what that does is it'll 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 make you look like a, a, a mercenary so um it's kind of like zombie blood if, if you know what that does but for mercs um so they think you're one of them uh, and i believe it also spawns an ai merc as well when you when you pop it and use it so that's the first one the second one is the golden mask uh filter uh, which basically it's like the golden place. It just regenerates. It's a mask that regenerates itself uh, and whatnot. Um, so that that's obviously very very useful because you can never necessarily break your mask uh, because it, it it just kind of uh, regenerates and and you're you're pretty much good to go. The uh, third and final one is um, dead wire detonators. So dead wire detonators basically um, it'll it'll equip kind of like a dead wire. Uh, sort of blast. Let me just read you exactly what um, Call of Duty actually said in their blog post and how it works because I'm not good at, I guess, explaining it. Basically, you electrify your blast for massive damage using the Deadwire detonators, uh, adding the Deadwire ammo mod effect to all of your explosive armaments, including lethals and launchers. Like, everything gets it except Wonder Weapons. Wonder Weapons don't, don't obviously, for balancing reasons. Um, and so that's, you know, that's a cool one. I, I would say the Golden Mask filter is probably the best one to get out of all this personally speaking sergeant's brett uh, sounds pretty cool uh and, and useful a, a, as well um but again there's three new schematics that you can uh, you can get um in 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 here and again the way that you're going to want to do this is going to be of course uh through doing the uh the contracts in the elder sigil variant uh, again the sergeant's brett like i said you can basically trick the uh the faction the mercs into thinking you're you're one of them and you're also going to get a merc bodyguard who's going to follow you so you get like an ai so in here one of our teammates actually popped one and so that kind of added an ai i had my dog they had that kind of you know uh ai merc if you will bodyguard uh so that was kind of helping us as well so it's it's really nice and like i said then we got the uh the golden mask filter which which is is pretty useful honestly it's um like i said to, to be able to like regenerate uh, it's, it's, um, it's very nice. So again, golden mask filter, the way it's going to work is, uh, when approaching strongholds in other areas that, you know, threaten, uh, with gas, uh, to suffocate, attaching the mask filter to a gas mask, uh, cause it to charge, uh, it causes its charge, excuse me, to self regenerate over time. Uh, the mask can still break. It says if it's charged is fully used up in one go, though the filter will be reapplied to the next one you find. So you're not going to lose your filter. It's just that the mask itself. So you have to apply it to a mask. So you need, you need a mask and uh, the filter. So it's not, uh, that's my mistake. I kind of misspoke earlier. Uh, the golden mask filter is not a mask itself. It's just a filter to add to whatever mask you, uh, you pick up. Uh, but the filter obviously makes things a lot better, regenerates, and uh, it gives you a little bit more of, uh, of a boost. So there you, guys, uh, there you guys have it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you get it done. You go into the Elder Sigil area. I wanted to show you guys all the gameplay without cutting any of it because I wanted you guys to see exactly how it kind of played out for us and give you guys some tips and tricks on how we went uh, about it. If you guys have any other additional tips and tricks to give everyone else down in the comments below, please feel free to uh, to do so um, beyond what, I, what I've mentioned. But like I said, the big thing is just make sure you're really equipped, anything that you think can be helpful uh you know some good guns 
you know, preferably uh, a gold rarity, but if you can get at least purple rarity, triple pack, you know, get all the perks that are necessary. I mean, minus death perception and tombstone, I guess. Uh, those are not really, you know, that uh, necessary. And uh, just go go to town. And like I said, healing aura. Healing aura is huge. Uh, I would not bring anything else but that in here, uh, personally speaking. But again, you know, if you have another reason to bring something else, you guys let me know. Um, like I said, you only have 15 minutes to do this. So you're going to have to do it extremely quickly. Do it quick, and uh, you should pretty much be, uh, be good to go. And, um, and that's going to be that. Uh, so there's one other thing you could do, but it's kind of pointless uh, from my from what I understand to do it in the Elder Sigil variant. And that is the kind of mini boss uh, sort of not. Well, maybe not a mini boss. It's kind of a normal boss uh, fight um, in the middle of the Dark Aether area. That's how you get a blueprint. But I mean, you can do that in the non Elder Sigil variant anyways, um, which is what I recommend. I've made a video on that blueprint. If you guys want to see exactly how it works, if, whether it's any good or not, if it's good in multiplayer, for example, what it looks like how to actually get it, all the nuanced details and whatnot. Uh, there's a video for that as well on my channel already. So once you've done that, by the way, you're going to you're gonna obviously want to get out of here before the time runs out. Um, and so if you just kind of go over to the sort of southeast um, part of the map, if you're in this kind of middle section, so if you're hopping off the bridge, if you do, if you do the ACV last and you're hopping off the bridge, just follow my kind of uh, my lead here. And you can see the portal's just kind of sitting over here right by the corner, uh, by the water in the southeast kind of corner of this sort of center area, if you will. It's not very hard to find. So there you guys have it again. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe for more. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon in, a, in a, another one. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And until the next one, Game on, and thanks for watching. Hey you, what are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army, do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is gonna fade, that's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going, and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kinda like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here, but if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.